In this video, we are going to solve a problem that involves dill solder reaction, ozonolysis, and a reductive condition, then cyclization reactions. The question is when cyclopentadiene is treated with ethyl cinnamate in the presence of AlCl3, it is basically a catalyst, we get compound A. When compound A is subjected to ozonolysis, followed by treatment with sodium borohydride then treatment with acid we get compound B what are the structures of A and B the given options are here for compound A they are given 4 plus 2 cycloaddition product these two basically they are 4 plus 2 cycloaddition product also they are given 2 plus 2 cycloaddition product this one can be obtained if this compound undergoes 2 plus 2 cycle addition. Next one, it is Michael addition product. Anion has been generated here and the anion undergoes 1 4 addition to this alpha beta unsaturated double bond. So basically, it is Michael addition. Compound A is subjected to ozonolysis. Generally, alkene and alkene will be subjected to ozonolysis. Here in all the options we have olefin double bond that will be converted that will be subjected to ozonolysis to give the corresponding ozonolyzed product. Generally it will be aldehyde or ketone. That aldehyde or ketone can be reduced with sodium borohydride to give the corresponding alcohol and further that is treated with acid. It is very simple problem. If you have some basic idea, you can easily solve this. Let us try to visualize the reaction. I treat cyclopentadiene with ethyl cinnamate. It undergoes 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. Basically, it is Lewis acid catalyzed dill solder reaction. This 4 plus 2 is more favored under thermal condition. But if you add Lewis acid, that also can promote. The Lewis acid can coordinate to the ester because of that this double bond will attach here and the reaction will proceed. Is there any possibility to get 2 plus 2 cycloaddition product? 2 plus 2 cycloaddition product is more favored under photochemical condition. But here it is Lewis acid under this condition we will get 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. In two options, they are given this bicyclic compound. In both the cases, CO2ET is at the bottom and pH is on the top. There is another possibility to get compound like this. CO2ET on the top, pH at the bottom. But this is more preferred because this is endo product, what we call endo selectivity due to secondary orbital interaction between this carbonyl and the double bond. This is more preferred. Fortunately, they have not given this particular option. Now, this compound is subjected to ozonolysis. You may be very familiar with ozonolysis. Double bond will be converted into ketone. Since we have mono substituted alkene, the product, whatever we get, will be like this. I have written as such so that it will be easy for you to follow. The same thing I can write this way also. Look at this, this 2CHO, they are at the bottom, 
they are cis this and this they are in the same direction so i have mentioned at the bottom this ch2 is this one afterwards we have ph and hydrogen that is one carbon here we have ph and hydrogen another one co2 et and hydrogen this ph and cho they are trans they are in opposite direction on the other hand this hydrogen and the cho they are in the same direction so what i do i place ph on the top ph and co2 et they are in the opposite direction so i place like this so this compound i can write like this also now when i reduce this it's sodium borohydride sodium borohydride can reduce only aldehyde this aldehyde as well as this will get reduced to give the corresponding alcohol now co2 et is at the bottom now there is cyclization between co2 et and alcohol basically it is trans esterification that is consider this ethyl ester if you add methanol to this if you dissolve this ethyl ester in methanol after some time the product whatever you get will be like this this methanol will displace ethanol to give this similarly here this will displace et to give the product so this and this will form a ring so here you can find the hydrogen is on the top here also it is on the top the ph is here and ch2oh is here there is possibility for this alcohol also to form a ring but if a ring is formed between this alcohol and co2 et the ring size will be six membered ring compared to six five membered ring is more preferred we have come across such behavior in so many occasions so this will be more preferred trans esterification will be more fazy when you go for acid condition the acid will coordinate to co2 et because of that the del plus on carbonyl carbon will be very high alcohol can easily attack carbonyl carbon to close the ring so now this is the product whatever i get after the reaction sequence here the two hydrogens they are cis ph and this co they are trans ch2oh and ph they are trans if i maintain this stereochemistry in the product i can easily predict the product now let us go to the given option already mentioned this two are more prefer than this and this this is not at all possible this is possible under photochemical condition this will be possible if you go for a base instead of aluminum chloride which is lewis acid if you go for a base then there is possibility for this one for addition but under this condition there is no possibility now compare this three products in our mechanism we got two five membered ring and the fusion is this fusion in this case it is trans fusion two five membered ring cannot be connected via trans fusion even though there are some reports that is very difficult so this will be less preferred that is whatever we have seen in the mechanism also so the correct answer is this one you can recheck the two hydrogens or cis so it is cis fusion 
CH2OH and PH they are trans PH and the lactone they are trans since it is thick line this should be thin line so PH and CO are trans so the answer is one